Jason Donnelly here with GearWire.com, and this is the Future Retro Revolution. The Revolution is a Roland TB303 emulator. It is analog. It has a built-in DSP. Uh, you can run an external signal through it and process external sound. Uh, it also has MIDI I.O., and an overdrive, and a waveform selection, and CV in out, and gate out. And basically, it's a really badass 303 emulator. So what I'm going to do is show you how to create a simple pattern. Let's fire this up. First thing you want to do here is hit the pattern button. You can see around here, these numbers, 1 through 16, those are the steps in a single pattern. So what we want to do is hit pattern again. We've already selected pattern 1. You could up and down to different pattern numbers, depending on which one you want to work with. I'm working with pattern number 1. I'm going to put, press pattern again. Looks cool, doesn't it? So the first thing we're going to do is clear all of these notes. These All these lights represent on-off notes. So these are off, these are on. Um, what I'm going to do is clear these out. So now we have a clear and fresh pattern. C2, if I press step 1, that'll give you the note that it's got, that it's on already. Um, it's off 2. What we want to do is, I'm going to start with F2, that's fine. Press play. And I think I'm going to drop a note here and here. And there's a glide on, so you can hear that gliding from this note to this to this. You can turn that off and it'll play. each note without the glide. I like glide. Sounds like the old 303. I'm going to drop one here. One here. As I say, I want to change the note on this step on C2. I'm going to press this. I can move it up and down. You hear the note changing. I've got it C3, so it's an octave higher than this step. Drop one here. And here. I have a very simple 303 like synth pattern. The remix button is on, I can use the remix feature, which mathematically analyzes the sequence and comes up with different variations. So <laughs> your job is pretty much done for you there. Feeling creative and you want to come up with something new from your pattern, simply use the remix feature. I want to throw some delay on that. Adjusting the cutoff gives it that sort of filter in out acidy sound. Meow. <laughs> 
So there you have it, the future retro revolution. Stay tuned for future segments where I will dive a little deeper into the sequencer on this device. And I'll also show you how to do some things such as adjust effects and record real-time knob movement. This is Jason Donnelly with GearWire.com. Thanks for watching.